Howdy. Today we're going over a song most closely associated with this group, Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys, and specifically its steel guitar player, Liam McAuliffe, and the famous tune, Steel Guitar Rag. Ah, take it away, Leon, Bob Wills would yell. And Leon did take it away. He took this song from a gentleman named Sylvester Weaver, who in 1927 recorded Guitar Rag. Same melody, all the same chords. Our transcription for our solo is taken directly from the steel guitar of the 1936 Bob Wills recording. In looking at the chords to the song, you can see that there are three distinct parts, each of them being 16 measures long. We'll now go over just a couple of the phrases that you'll find in the solo and help you get the correct fingerings. Here is the opening phrase. One, two, three, four, one. Here's the B lick going into the E tag. One, two, three. Here's the second E tag lick. One, two, three, four. Pickup note takes you into part B. This will be the backward slide on the E chord, coming back to the E chord at the fourth fret where you slide your first finger up two frets to get this D shape F sharp chord at the sixth fret. You then move your second finger to where your first finger is, slide up two more frets, and you have your B chord. One, two, three. The next time you play the F sharp and B measures, one time each, and then go all the way up to the 12th fret to get your E chord. This original elaborate ending did not appear on the 1936 recording, but has appeared on many recordings since. It begins on beat 2. One, two, three, four, one. For that E13 chord, I'm borrowing five frets, but I'm really only getting the pressure down on these last couple as I'm borrowing strings one and two with my third finger. Still Guitar Rag is a great song to play at a fairly fast clip. Even in a bluegrass setting where they want to play everything fast, you'll be able to play along because all of the notes are quarter notes. Whenever there's an eighth note, we play it as a slur, a hammer-on, a slide, or a pull-off. And this allows us to just keep pounding out downstrokes, not having to play any down-ups. We'll now perform the entire solo at a brisk 2.30 on your metronome. If you need to slow the video down, use the YouTube feature. Speaking of slowing down, slow down, take a second, and subscribe to this channel for more great instruction.